This beat kind of goes hard, not gonna lie. Anyways, today we're stealing another page out of Zach Beale TV's book. Because, uh, he played this game not too long ago. And now here I am playing it. Because I have no other games to play. I have Five Nights at Freddy's. But I don't feel like uploading the same game two days in a row. But anyways, uh... I mean, how bad can this game be? It's a farming game. Look at this. Look, look at this. My dear nephew, greetings, Stevens. It is I, your Uncle Panko. I hope you are well. Your parents tell me that you are soon to graduate. A fine achievement indeed, Quentin. It feels that you just yesterday could barely walk and talk. I am just fucking lexic. And now you're almost fully grown! How time flies! Looking back, it seems that I haven't actually seen you in person since then, and for that I apologize. I'm just so busy at the farm nowadays, which brings me to the point of this letter. I would like to invite you to spend the summer here, with me. It would be nice to have some help, and we could make up for all the lost time. If you would like to accept my offer, Jeremy, all you have to do is take the bus to the farthest stop at the outskirts of the next town over. Once you get there, just follow the dirt path cutting through the woods. My farm is just around the corner. Hope to see you soon. Uncle Pango. Like, this is- this can't- like... This can't be bad. It's- we're literally going to- Oh! <gasps> Bro, look at the game! Look at this game- this game is so friendly. It is literally- this reminds me of Slime Rancher. All right, he said a dirt path. Where's the dirt path? I see stuff over there, so I'm assuming it's... Yeah. All right. Half a mile later, and here we f***ing are. This is a big barn house. No. Ooh, letter. Michael, my boy. I'm glad that you decided to visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up, and I'll be gone for the first few days of your stay. Would you mind doing some work around the farm until I return? I know it's a lot to ask, since you'll be all by yourself. But if anyone can handle it, you can, Robert. I've left a few more instructions around the house to help you, and I'll take on the majority of the work again once I get back. The key to the front door is located under the little goblin on the porch, and your room is on the second floor. Make yourself at home. Uncle Panko. Why did I decide to give him a western accent just now? I don't know. Goblin. This is a goblin, I guess. Okay, well, this is nice. I f yes, yes, of course. Close the door behind you. Why wouldn't you? Why can't we... Okay, fine. It's not important. It's not important. A f***ing typewriter? Okay. You know what? Maybe this game takes place older. You know, I mean, look at the TV, the grandfather clock, the fish on the wall. I mean, it's perfect. It's really cozy. I mean, look, I need a lot of open space if you need it for anything. I mean, why wouldn't you need it, right? Nice little uh, kitchen here with a... Uh, Bridge and everything. Why is there like a hole in the floor here? Uh, that's a big table. The bathroom, pretty nice, pretty uh, pretty bath. Mhm. Mm All right, second floor. That is a short staircase. Again, two random cupboards with nothing on them. Locked. L locked. And this is my room. I got uh, myself a nice little guitar, uh, the the lamp, a mug, a, a bed, and a bookshelf. And a clock. Can't forget the clock. Of course, close the door behind you. There's a note over there on the barn. Is there anything over here that I should be concerned about? Ooh. All right, this is cool, this is cool, this is cool. All right, let's read what this note has to say. Lenny, I've... Okay, I remember the first... I, we had a different name before. Then it was a, then it was Robert, and now it's Lenny. 
This guy has short-term memory loss. D -d Dementia. Same thing. I see you found the barn. The cows can be quite rowdy, especially on Sundays, Thursdays, and the second Wednesday of every other month. So if you hear any odd sounds coming from inside, pay them no mind. I fed them and locked the door before I left, so they shouldn't bother you today. Uh, tomorrow, however, I would like you to let them out to graze. The key to the barn door is hanging in the entryway off the house. Please leave it locked until the sun comes up tomorrow. Uncle Panko. That's the key I saw next to the door. Do I have to go get it now? These notes just happens to be here. Dearest nephew, apologies, but I forgot to mention something important. Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Not all the time, but enough that some caution is warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside of the house and remain there until it rises again. Okay? Today specifically, you'll need to make sure to shut and lock the back and front doors in that order, back then front, before going to bed as well. Uncle Panko. That's normal, right? I mean, some some people just have strict guidelines. You know, some people have... I don't know how to put this. Uh, I kind of lost... I, I closed that door on the way in. It was probably in a gnome. All right, well, I'll close that right back up. Uh, we don't need the key yet, I guess. Well, I guess we're go. Oh, what? That is one wonky. What the f is it? I knew it was the gnome. I knew it was the gnome. You little bum head. Yeah, yeah, I called you a bum head. What you gonna do about it? Everything is in black and white but you. You clearly have some sort of importance to this story. And I always knew it. Let me grab this guitar. Best. Mm, guitars are expensive. No. Rodney, it seems you may have made a mistake during your nightly routine. That's all right, nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, that means that one of them got inside the house. This is fixable, but you need to follow these instructions exactly as I have written them. Take a red candle from your bedside drawer and light it. Then walk with it calmly to the downstairs bathroom and lock yourself in. There's a pillow and blanket in the cabinet under the sink in case you need it. The bathtub isn't exactly the most comfortable place to sleep in the house, but it's better than the alternative. Uncle Pango. He said red. Is it already on? And he said bathroom. Alright. These stairs are a lot longer than I had thought once before. Oh, these are these stairs are so much longer. What are you? Are you what? What was what? What are you? And you're gone. And you're. I don't want to explore the rest of the house. Close the door behind you. Close the door, you moron! Blankets? No. Blankets? No. Fine. I just got chills. What the f was that? Why did it close the door? Take the pillows and the blanket. Get in the, get in, get in the tub. Get in the tub. Sleep in the tub. Get in the tub. What are you doing? Get in the tub. Morning! How, 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 how you sleep? Great? Nice, nice, I'm glad. What the fuck was that? Yeah, see, that, the, 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 these stairs were so much longer. There's no reason. No reason. See? There. I can't open the front door anymore. Nothing out of the ordinary out here. Uh, door... Perfect. This is for the barn, right? Hi! Oh, hi! Hey, what the f-
Are they allowed to just run like that? I thought y'all were coming close to me. I was like, whoa, back up, big guy. What? Are you not supposed to... You're not supposed to be out here. Alright. I guess we're uh, on a wild uh, cow chase. Hopefully y'all don't uh, escape while I'm hunting this guy down. Why is he going so f***ing far? Cows aren't meant to go this far. They're, they're, they're cows. How are they so fast? Where is this guy leading me? I'm gonna... Hi. What? What? What is that? What is that? Why is the... What is that? What are you? What are you? Back up. Back up. No, no. What are you? What are you? What are you? Why are you still uh, on me? Around me? What are you? I'm so confused. I have chills. What are you? What are you? Get away from me. What was that? Bogey! If you're reading this, you're probably doing well. I'm very proud. Besides caring for the livestock, I'd like you to harvest some of my crops today. The purple stuff, to be specific. Grab the sickle next to the gate and get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small, it's more like a patch than anything else, but some little rascals still tend to hide in there when the crops are at their tallest. Don't worry too much about it, just stay on your toes and you'll do fine. Uncle Panko. God damn, I, I was just chased by some weird ghostly figure, and now I'm gonna get my toes nibbled by some little gremlin in the crops, bro. Aw, oh, nah. Nah, 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 I already saw him. I already saw him. It's just like Farming Simulator. It's just like farm. I saw you, I think. Unless I'm schizophrenic. All right, all right, all right. It's normal. It's normal, right? Nothing's out of the ordinary yet. I hit something. What? What is that? What? Oh, no, 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 no. No. Hey, 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 hey. What the f are you? What are you, mister? What the f What are you? What? Yeah, everything went black. All right, well, uh... Yeah, so the note doesn't say anything. It's just like, stay on your toes, whatever. This time, I'm just gonna absolutely wipe him, bro. I'm just gonna... Just go up to him. Where is he? Okay. Okay, so now he's just not here. All right. I see how it is. Where is he? Oh, do I have to get him where he is? Okay, well, I guess he only popped up once. Am I done? I didn't even get this one. What? Well, was the... the gnome? The gnome! I'm telling you, it's all the gnome's fault. The sickle just evaporated. All right, Christopher. Thank you again for doing all this while I'm gone. I promise you won't have to spend your whole summer here just doing work around the farm. Why don't you herd the cows back into the barn and take the rest of the day off? Just ring the chimes next to the barn doors three times exactly, and they'll take it from there. After that, you can head on back to the house. Uncle Panko. What if I do it more than three times or less than three times? I can't do it more. All right, well, a fun. No, no, no lock. All right, man. That's fine by me. Said rest of the day off. And all of a sudden, I'm in my room. All right, another note. 
Rise and shine. Today you're going to meet my chickens. Or rather, my chickens' eggs. They should have laid a good amount of them by now, and I'd like you to go out to the coop and gather them. There's a basket out on the kitchen counter, and you can use it to hold them. Just put it back where you found it when you're done. Oh, one more thing. Chickens are easy prey for some of the local wildlife, and their eggs are even easier. So stay on guard and don't, leave any don't let anything sneak up on you while you're distracted gathering eggs. But most importantly, have fun. Uncle Panko. What is... What what is up with it? I'm sorry if I pissed off anyone in a foreign language. Uh, chickens are right here. Yep. What the fuck? Yeah, I see you. I see you. I see you. Yeah. What even is that thing? I see you. What are you? What are you? That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Those things already grew back. Holy shit. Basket just back where I found it. All right. Perfect. Yeah. 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 I, I know it's all up to you. I, I know. I, whoa. 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 My boy. Thank you again for helping out around the farm. I know it might not be exactly fun, but especially not by yourself. But I hope you might grow to love this land as I have. Anyways, I think you're done everything important for now, I think. Afraid to spend the rest of the day as you wish. Just head to bed whenever you get tired. I'm sure I didn't forget anything. Uncle Panko. Oh, he forgot something, all right. He forgot about this fucking gnome. This is where I die. This is how you die, guys. You gotta close doors behind you. Otherwise, you die. Exactly. Exactly. What is it now? What is it now? What is it? The same thing? Gnome. What is it this time? It's, it's, it's the thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Red, red candle. Red candle. Red candle. No red candle. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. This is where I die. This is it. This is it. Dead? No. Outside? Nope. TV? Nope. Front door. What the hell? What are you? You know, this game's more confusing than scary. Nephew, I think I forgot to mention something I've never forgotten before. Happens to the best of us. Goblin, that you took the house key from when you first arrived? There's a non-zero chance that it might have been replaced by a gnome. And if you took the key from it, you will have effectively invited it into the house to stay. I don't own any gnomes, but one of my neighbors does. And it doesn't like to share. Keyword, it. Now, I'm not one to discriminate against uh, pronouns. <laughs> I won't sugarcoat it. You're in serious trouble. By the time you finish reading this note, I reckon you'll have about one minute to find the gnome in the house and give it back before its owners get inside to take it. Check everywhere you can think of. Around the corners, inside cabins, everywhere. It could be hiding anywhere. Once you find it, just open the front door and throw it outside. Literally, just throw the thing out. Uncle Panko. Speedrun. 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 No. It's nowhere here. Round corners. Round corners. Nope. Nowhere here. Nope. No. Nowhere. 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 In the fridge? In the fridge? Nowhere in the fridge. Outside? Nope. Can't be outside. Under the table? No. Ignore him. Ignore him. Ignore him. In the in the couch. 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 No. Behind the TV. Behind the grandfather clock. I can't go through the grandfather clock anymore. This is loud. This is pretty loud. This is pretty loud. In the bedroom. Bathroom. There it is. There it is. There it is. I found the gnome. I found the gnome. I found the gnome. I found the gnome. What's tapping? It's tapping on my window! What's tapping on my window? Why am I inside the bookshelf? What the fuck? What's happening? 
Oh, that's the that's the door. I'm dumb. Uncle Panko! There's my favorite nephew. How great to finally see you after all this time. You're a quite bit shorter than I remembered. Wow. That's the first thing you tell. You know, people really take their height serious. Okay, some people get offended when you call them short. Now, I'm not one of the ones that gets really offended, but still, it's a harsh reminder, okay? It's a harsh reminder, all right? 5'6 is a perfectly average height. I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I hope you weren't too bored here all by yourself. Hmm? Notes? Chores? We creatures from the fields and forest? Well, I'm certain I only sent you one letter and left you one note on the front door before you arrived. You must have had a nightmare of some kind, and I don't blame you. It can be a little scary out here sometimes, especially on your own. Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. How about I make us breakfast, and then I'll give you the grand tour of the property. I hope you're ready for a summer of fun. Nothing ever happened. That's the second ending? What was the first ending? Dad? Uh-huh, you gotta go find it, throw it out. What if I don't? Listen, man. I just don't know what it is. Listen, uh, you can come inside, take it yourself. Uh, I just don't know what it is. I, I honestly do not know what it is. I tried looking for it. I mean, it's been all around the house. This entire time it's been around the house. It just happens in this very moment. The moment that I need to give it back. I just can't seem to find it. And I, I hope you can forgive me for it. Because, listen, I, I really am sorry. I know it's your gnome. You can come and look for it yourself. It's just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you lower your voice a little bit? Lower your voice. I'm trying to speak. I'm... Hi. You're not going to hurt me, are you? I... Come in, just come in, take, take the gnome, take the gnome, take the gnome, I'll, I'll. All right, so I had to look up the, the other ending, the first one, uh, and, uh, apparently it's right here, after this, oh, we gotta find the gnome, uh, right here, where you find the gnome, also here you find a key, and then after you throw the gnome, in the morning, there's a, uh, another door that you can open. One of the doors in the upstairs that we were never able to open. Which whoop they do was one of the doors that was locked. Mappy and Star were here and they got a writing credit. I bet they did. Sweet Jesus! That's a carbon monoxide leak! You must have been breathing it in for days. We need you to get you out of here. Uncle Panko's drunk. <sighs> Ending one. Time to go to the hospital. And that was the first ending. Well, that then that wasn't a long recording, I don't think. But if you enjoyed it, um, make sure to leave a like. If you guys want more short horror games like this, uh, let me know. And uh, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. They're pretty cool as well. But uh, most importantly, that's going to be it for this week. Uh, next week, we might be back with Five Nights at Freddy's. We might be back with Back for Blood. Who knows? You're going to have to tune in next week to find out. But for now, I'll leave you guys at this. Uh... And that's it, that's the outro.